welcome you to Malibu, California, an inside Firestone Fieldhouse for the final non-conference tune-up of the season as the Pepperdine Waves 4 and 5 host the University of California Riverside Highlanders 2 and 5. Darren Preston with you. Thanks for joining us on the WCC Network. Well, that was a monstrous effort for Pepperdine on Wednesday night. An 80-point performance, 48 points in the second half, had five players in double-digit scoring, held the road runners to just 27 percent from the floor. We'll see if the Waves can go out on a high note uh, as far as non-conference play again today. Of course, leading that effort from Wednesday was Ali Stedman. 21 points, six rebounds, two steals. The 5'9 sophomore guard from Phoenix, Arizona was back in her usual self. And remember, she has uh, at least one three-pointer in every one of her games this year and in double-digit scoring in all eight of her games as well. On the other side of the court, uh, they're getting really good guard play. UC Riverside is from Jordan Webster uh, out of Dallas, Texas. She wears number 32, a 5'9 uh, junior guard. She is actually their only double-digit score on the year on average, getting 10.1 points per game. And on the first meeting around between the Highlanders and Waves a couple of weeks ago, she might have been the best individual player uh, on the floor. She had 14 points that night, albeit the Waves did get that win up at the Great Alaska Shootout, 67 to 58. Nicole Powell, former Stanford standout, is the head coach for UC Riverside in her third year, and Kristen Dowling for the Pepperdine Waves in her fourth year. Should be a good one to close out the non-conference schedule. UC Riverside visiting Pepperdine on Wavecast on the WCC Network. Good afternoon, everybody, from Firestone Fieldhouse in Malibu. It is the final non-conference game on the Pepperline schedule as the four and five waves host the two and five UC Riverside Highlanders. Darren Preston back with you. We're about a minute or so away from the opening tip-off to wrap up the non-conference schedule. Waves coming off a very impressive game, 80 to 53 over Cal State Fullerton. Meanwhile, UC Riverside back in action for the first time in two weeks. Had a game canceled recently, and the Highlanders' last time they played was during Thanksgiving weekend, a 49-47 win over Long Island. This is a team that is struggling mightily, scoring the basketball, just getting 51 points a game. The Waves had exceptional defense uh, on Wednesday night, held the visitors to just 27% from the floor. We'll see uh, if that can continue and if the Waves can continue this momentum as they travel up to the Bay Area next week to open up the conference schedule against Santa Clara and San Francisco. Let's get into the starting lineups for UC Riverside. They had three players a couple of weeks ago score 14 points against Pepperdine, all game highs. And uh, you saw, we took a look at uh, Jordan Webster at the top of our show, the 5'10 junior guard from Dallas, Texas. She's the only double-digit scorer on their, on their team at 10 a game. Paris Ashley, the only player to start all eight games this year in the backcourt. 
along with Mel Finau, number 13, Jordan Marshall, another guard, a 5'6 freshman from Perlin, Texas, and Mattia Bryan up front, six foot, fourth year junior from Samamas, Washington. Third year head coach, Nicole Powell for UCR. The Highlanders in the blue and gold, Pepperdine. Opening tip is won by the Waves. Marley Walls back at the point. Waves have used the same starting lineup for all but one game. Walls on the court with Teresa Grayson Banifo up front. Jane Waba joins her. And then Mayali Amosa. And then the shooting guard of Ali Stedman. Amosa gets the first deuce of the game. Waves strike first, two to nothing. First possession down for UC Riverside from right to left. Highlanders compete in the Big West Conference where they are picked in the bottom half of the standings. Waves come out in a 2-3 zone. Going to her right, it was uh, Jordan Marshall up front. Paris actually had a 14-point game against Pepperdine a couple of weeks ago, won by the Waves by nine in the consolation game of the Great Alaska Shootout. Three-pointer is no good by Ashley, and excuse me, by uh, Webster, and the Waves, their second trip down, and Banifo is gonna walk with it inside the block. It'll go to UCR. So many good things we saw to get this train headed into the right direction from Wednesday night as we approach WCC play. Many good things. A 48 point second half and there was something else that happened really well. A turnover caused by Jane Waba but going the other way the Waves not able to finish and the Highlanders take it right back. Waves shot the ball well. Had quite a few threes, of course, led by Stedman's four triples and nine tries. She's hit at least one in every game. There's a three-point try, is too long, missed by Finau. And the Waves come up with it. Still with this two to nothing lead, a minute and a half into it. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Nice holiday season. Allie Stedman, get it to Teresa Grayson Banifo. Second double-double in a Wave uniform for her last time out. Driving to the hoop, that is missed underneath. By Waba, back the other way, two on two, crossover Bryant, put it up, no, Bryant again, and put it up, second effort is in there. Highlanders on the board, nearly two minutes in. And the Waves running well down the floor, getting behind the field. Teresa Grace and Banifo loose underneath, four to two. And Banifo, the number two score on Pepperdine with 13 a game. Had the 15 points, 13 rebounds, and a Pepperdine high of three block shots on Wednesday night. And the Waves get it back. The Highlanders turn it over for the second time in the first 2.15. Mimosa to Jane Waba, who will now cross the timeline, get it back to the point guard, Marley Walls. Walls driving, put on the break mid post, kick it out. Schwaba can hit those. She does. Schwaba had two first half three pointers on Wednesday and had another great outing. Schwaba had 13 points, six rebounds. Part of the three point barrage the Waves put on. Corner three, that is no good by Finau, and the Waves have it. Up by five early, not yet three minutes in. Won this game by nine up in Alaska. A few weeks back, very rare to play a non-conference team twice in the regular season. It happened this year between the Waves and the Highlanders. Underneath, uh, and Banifo try to hook it up there, no good. Highlanders come up with it. Into the front court goes Jordan Marshall, the freshman, get it low block, and have it blocked from behind by Banifo, who had three of those on Wednesday. It'll be UCR ball, baseline left. Three-pointer in the corner. That's off the back of the iron. No good. Missed by Marshall. Traced down by Paris Ashley. Junior out of your Belinda. Kick it up front to Finau. She's got 12 to work with. Marshall again. They have a switch now on defense. Stedman defending and now Amosa defending. Ashley with five. Defended by Walls. Ashley dropped back. Long two. No good. Missed from 18. Underneath though. Keeping it alive is Mattia Bryant for the deuce. Bryant's got the first two baskets in this one for UCR. Marley Walls, the Bucknell transfer, writing defensive uh, player of the year in the Patriot League. Great distributor of the ball, getting about five assists per game is Marley Walls. A pick and roll try, and it's a turnover. 
Knocked down by the Highlanders, who will run it back the other way. Ashley driving in from the wing, and that'll be out of bounds. Waves defending underneath, and actually on the end line, so UCR will turn it over for the third time. Marley Walls will jog it up into the front court with a 7-4 lead, 5-32 first quarter. This was a uh, up and down game a couple weeks ago. The Waves started out well, had a miserable second quarter in this game before playing an outstanding second half. Walls is on the sideline. I'll give it right back to UC Riverside. So each team with three early turnovers in this one. UC Riverside, two for their first nine from the floor. Pepperdine, three for their first five. And giving it right back is Marshall. Back the other way. It's a three on three. Grayson Banifo puts on the break. Stop the circle. Driving underneath. Amosa off the window and in. Nice dish. Give an assist to Marley Walls, her second. And the Waves are back up by five. Marshall, push it front court to Jordan Webster, the only double-digit scorer on UCR, getting 10 a game, got 14 against the Waves. First time around. Get it to the free throw line, and that shot is blocked by Mbanifo. Bryant going up, a whistle, and I believe the first foul for either side. A little bit too much body on that block attempt by Teresa Grace and Banifo. First foul for either side comes more than five minutes in. Waves are up by five on the WCC network. Four thirty-seven to go, first quarter from Firestone Fieldhouse. Pepperdine nine, UC Riverside four. The Waves have hit four of their first six shots. Islanders two for their first nine. We'll have our first free throws of the game. It'll be taken by Atia Bryant, who has now all five of UC Riverside's points so far. Pepperdine on average plus 10 on the glass this year. UC Riverside minus 10 on the glass. And so far, UC Riverside is doubling up the Waves. Six to three in that category, but the Waves do have a three-point lead. Jane Waba out on the left wing. Becky Obima in for the first time, just set a pick. Stedman for three. She was hot the other night, misses that one. And a rebound underneath to Anna Blunt, who just checked in. She was the other 14-point scorer against the Waves first time around. And Blunt, their first option off the bench, 6'1", senior out of Stockton by way of UNLV. And the Waves will pick up another foul. The Highlanders are a transfer-heavy group in that they have five players, and they're all kind of big names on their roster who once played for another university. Marshall. 
Out to the left for Ashley, who will center it. Defended by Marley Walls, great defender. Walked with it, did Anna Blunt, trying to get to the lane. And UC Riverside will turn it over for the fifth time here in the first quarter. We got 349 still to play. Pepperdine Women's Basketball would like to extend it. Thanks to Nike, the official outfitter of the team. And on the internet, the home of the Waves can be found at PepperdineWaves.com. News, schedule, scores, stats, and more can be found on the official athletic website. Waba for three. No, she just hit one a few minutes ago. Misses that one. Strong side rebound. And, at, and uh, actually, now the acting point into the front court. Bryant, look on their knees, poked away, blunt recovers, left angle shot, too strong, and a strong side rebound for Becky Obima. No baskets now for the Highlanders, approaching three minutes, and Bryant for UCR still has all six of their points. Stedman, get it to the other side of the floor, Mosa getting baseline, reverse layup, no but foul, first free throws of the game coming up for the Waves with 3.03 to go in the first quarter and you'll hear us talk about this at halftime with uh, the head coach Kristen Dowling how important this is going to be going forward in the conference play getting to the foul line early and often and the Waves taking their first foul shot to this game got there 35 times on Wednesday night a season high Mosa misses the first Mosa now 10 for 16 on the season at the line. The Waves are 68% as a team. Ali Iamosa misses two. We go under three minutes. The Waves up by three. Yeah, Coach Dowling a little frustrated that not as many went through the hoop as she would have liked at the line the other night. But the important thing is they gave themselves the opportunity, got Bakersfield in the foul trouble, and made, or I should say attempted more or uh, made more, I should say, made more than uh, Cal State Bakersfield actually attempted. That would be the way to say it. So that's a good stat to have. And especially when you can draw some fouls as early in the quarter as possible and try to get the other team over the limit. Create some opportunities, especially on nights where baskets are sometimes hard to come by. A couple of free throws go in for Marshall. First player other than Bryant to score for UC Riverside as the wave leave is down to one with two and a half to play first quarter. Molly Walls defended way up high. Marshall knocks it into the back court. Waves do recover with four on the shot clock. Amosa deep now with one inside the free throw line. Obina misses from 14. Very deep in the shot clock as the Highlanders causing havoc defensively. Now looking for a lead. Actually, left side on the wing. Blunt was posting up instead. Go up top to Finau. Webster trying to get baseline. Whistle. She was on the end line. It'll go back to Pepperdine. Substitution. Teresa Grace of Banifo back on the floor. And Becky Obima will sit. Also on for the first time for UC Irvine is India Aikens. And they're about nine minutes a game this year. All right, waves by one, and it's Jane Waba down the middle of the court. Waba with an early three, driving, and a beautiful dish. They're going to call an offensive foul, however. Right idea. Just an offensive foul. Waba asking for an explanation, and a tough break there because she did everything right except pick up the offensive foul. So that's four fouls now on the Waves with 90 seconds to go in the first quarter. The lead is still 9-8. to eight. Up top, Marshall, the freshman, goes to the left for Aikens. Back to Finau. Drop it in low to Blunt. Blunt, can it be blocked? 
by Teresa Grayson Banifo, her second. Molly Walls back the other way, straight down the middle, put it up off the back of the iron, too strong. Keep it there, however, on a UCR foul. Just the second foul on UC Riverside with just over a minute to play in the first quarter as Matea Bryant is back on the court. Had the first six today for UCR. Lob a little inbound. You got 20 on the reset of the shot clock. Inbound up high to Meili Amosa. Modern day high product. Puts it on the deck two times. Get it to Molly Walls. Former Bucknell Bison drop it off to Teresa Grayson Manifo on the other side of the lane who lays it in. She's got four. And the waves are up by three under a minute first quarter. Marshall intercepted by Jane Waba. All sorts of daylight in front of her. 13 to eight. Jane Waba with the steal and the bucket. She's got five. And the waves are up by five. Ashley, push it to the front court. There is a, about a four and a half second difference between game clock and shot clock. Highlanders being limited right now to 18% from the floor. Let's see if the waves can get one last stance. And they will. With Walls with seven. Back the other way. Walls left side. Stedman launch a three. No, off the front of the rim. Rebound underneath. Blocked out of bounds. And that is how another excellent quarter ends for Pepperdine. Limiting the opposition to eight points and just 18.2% from the floor. Waves by five. Headed to quarter number two on the WCC Network. Thirteen to eight waves, six of thirteen shooting, forty-six percent to UC Riverside's two for eleven, eighteen percent. Three players have scored for the waves: Waba with five, and Banafo and Amosa with four, and then Bryant with six out of the eight for UCR. Two players have scored for them. Here is Ashley to open up the second frame. Walls had three assists in the first half, playing good defense here, and Stedman from the other side knocks it away, two on one. Stedman up with it and scored off the window. Allie Stedman is on the board for the first time. Again, she's been in double figures in every one of her outings this year. All eight of them, and gets a steal again. Push it, front court, and Banifo lays it in. And Banifo is six, a couple of steals quickly in the second quarter for Allie Stedman. Averaging 15 and a half on the other end of the floor, but can, as we all know, play excellent defense. 14 steals coming in on the year to lead the waves. A Couple of early ones in the second quarter here in the first minute, 
17 to eight. Actually defended by Walls, three to shoot. I don't know if she knows it. She does now, off balance, and that's going over the top of the window. That'll be a shot block violation. Obviously a lot of panic on that possession for UCR. 17 to eight. Pepperdine's got its biggest lead. And they'll get the ball back here, try to go up by double digits for the first time. Back on the floor is uh, Jordan Marshall, along with Zoe Tillery, number three. Tillery is a 5'7 freshman guard out of Sacramento. Here's Walls, blocked, but contact underneath. Walls should be going to the line. First on Bryant, first foul for either side in the second quarter, and the first off the bench in the second quarter for Pep is Helena, Fr Helena Friend, who played extremely well on Wednesday, had 10 points. Very important to find scores, of course, outside of Stedman and Mbanifo. Friend uh, was someone who provided that on Wednesday night. Walls, second free throw is good. Friend, the six foot sophomore from Huntington Beach. Ball stolen, inbound, first layup nose, follow up no, again missed by Friend, and the Highlanders come up with it. Straight away three is no good. Missed by Marshall, that is out of bounds. It'll go back to the Waves. 19 to eight, couple of other uh, West Coast Conference teams in action today. Santa Clara is at Nevada, UC Davis is at Gonzaga. Same tip off times as us. Obima underneath. Up top it goes the friend. Go out to the corner. Waba pull up, leaning in, no good off the front of the rim. Up high for the rebound is Webster. One stat that is going a little bit unexpectedly in this game so far is the rebounding. You see Riverside 12 to eight on the glass. A stat that's been very dominant for Pepperdine this year. And the other way around for UC Riverside. Plus 10 versus minus 10. But Waves doing just fine on the scoreboard, 19 to eight. Pepperdine does pick up a foul here in the form of Jade Waba. And Jordan Marshall will go to the foul line where she is two for two so far today. And make it three for three. Make sure you follow Waves Hoops on Twitter, Pepperdine WBB on Instagram, and Pepperdine Women's Basketball on Facebook for all the latest news and information on the team. Waves looking for their first three-game winning streak since starting the season 3-0 two years ago. So that's going back more than two full calendar years, the last time the Waves had a three-game winning streak. They could achieve that today. Crossover walls. Obima in the middle of the key. And what went in? Becky Obima is on the board. Her second shot. And the Waves are up by double digits, 21 to 10. Front court. And a foul will be called underneath a couple of free throws. Esther Madaran's going up. And she will take two. Moderans shooting two for the Highlanders. Moderans, uh, number 11 for UCR, the 6'2 sophomore forward from Barcelona, Spain. First foul shot is no good. Moderans is nothing for five this year at the free throw line. Gets in there about eight minutes per game for the Highlanders. And makes her first free throw of the season as we have a 10-point ball game and Maylee Iamosa is back on the court and Banifo will take a breather. And Drea Brunfield also out there for Pep, one of the newcomers, 6'2 freshman out of Washington. She's got it here. Amosa puts it on the deck times two, stops her dribble, give it to Helena Friend. Friend, Amosa. Back up top, Obima. Kind of an interesting lineup on the floor right now for the Waves. Uh, ball is loose on the floor and taken away. 
by UCR's uh, Jordan Webster. If you look at who's on the floor right now, you kind of, in a normal situation, or you know, maybe a lot of situations, you'd ask yourself, okay, where's your scoring coming from? You got Friend, Brunfield, Amosa, Obima, and Walls. Now, granted, that group can do a lot of other things. But your top two scorers right now are on the bench. Leaning in, Walls, that's no good off the front of the rim. And the rebound is Bryant. And in fact, three of your top four scorers are on the bench right now for Pepperdine. Leaning in, about a 13-footer missed by Webster. Offensive rebound is put back in by Matea Bryant, who's got eight of UCR's 13. 5.52 to go before halftime, waves by eight. Driving, friend, up with it, no good. Trio of Highlanders all around it. And taking it away is Esther Moderans. Sophomore gives it up to Zoe Tillery at the point, the freshman from Sacramento. Tillery pull up, 18-footer is way off the mark. Amosa with the rebound, very careless. Handling of the ball there as the Highlanders easily take it back. So maybe Coach Dowling giving this group an opportunity to play together and see what they can do with the top scorers on the bench. Ball poked away by Walls and stolen, and Walls will get a steal, but then lose her footing and fall out of bounds. It'll go back to UC Riverside. And the Waves have now turned it over eight times, but that's still five less than UC Riverside's total. Rosemary Odabumi is on the floor now for Pepperdine. And the Highlanders will call a timeout with 5.07 to go. We'll step aside. Wave still up by eight on the WCC Network. Final seven to go before halftime. Pepperdine 21 to 13 over UC Riverside. Your next Pepperdine game brought to you by the University Credit Union. That's this Saturday, December the 17th, up at Santa Clara. Two o'clock tip off, and that will begin the West Coast Conference schedule. Waves will also, on that same road trip, two days later, be at the University of San Francisco. The next time we are here is in 18 days from right now. Portland and Gonzaga will be here on the 29th and 31st. Hard to believe, very fast as usual, the non-conference season. Up top, Marshall. Right side it goes to Tillery. One bounce it into Matarans. Matarans, couple of bounces working against Odabumi. Put it up with her left hand and float one in. Boy, great footwork by Matarans and the finish to bring her team to within six. The story of this game so far in the first half, without question, is the points off turnover. Stedman underhand roll no good. Rebound. Odabumi double team trapped at the end line gets out of it. Runfield chest pass right side. Stedman 
Put it on the deck twice. Kick it out the walls. 360 move. Nowhere to go. Might have walked with it. Three second violation called. And UC Riverside gets it back. The Waves are up 13 to nothing in the points off turnovers category. So that, uh, that stat has taken its toll here in the first half as the Highlanders have turned it over 13 times to the Waves 9. 9 is not a good number either, but the Highlanders uh, have been hit a lot harder by that. 5 to shoot crossover. Driving underneath, that is no good by Webster. Put back, no, but fouled. Another possession deep into the shot clock, and it results in an Odabumi foul, and Madarans is back to the free throw line. They can get to within four. The Waves, not too long ago, had a double-digit lead, and now have kind of gone cold, one for their last seven, and in fact, have not scored in nearly four minutes. Madaran's free throw, nice high arch, and she gets that one. Second foul shot is good. Madaran's has now hit her first three free throws of the year, three for four. And she's got five. Bryant still their team high with eight. Front court, Rosemary Odabumi. Behind the arc. Go to the right side, Allie Stedman. A very quiet first half for her. Stedman leaning in, along two, in and out, and back Allie in again. Stedman. Allie Stedman, just with four on her second basket. Does have two assists. And the waves are back up a half dozen. Front court it goes. Webster driving on Odabumi inside. Straight up defense. Where, very well done by Odabumi. And into the front court goes Marley Walls. Walls slashing to the paint. Back out. Brunfield, a wide open three. Too strong. And will be uh, in a hell ball situation. And will stay with the waves on the hell ball. Tara Satchley is coming back on. Take another look. Good fight for the ball. By the way, the head coach for UC Riverside, we mentioned Nicole Powell, now in her third season, formerly of Stanford University, where she played, and actually came into this building as a player. Stanford played here against the Waves back in 2003, the 03-04 season. In fact, it was the season opener. Had a good time calling that game. Uh, crossover, driving, Marley Walls. Runner with her left hand, no good. Rebound, Odabumi put back and in. Odabumi's had some nice plays on both ends of the floor, coming in off the bench. Coach Dowling giving some of her players an opportunity in the first half. Run field with some nice minutes with Odabumi. Of course, uh, Elena Friend as well, coming off that 10-point game. And remember, Friend, who's actually on the bench right now, she had her career high against Riverside a couple of weeks ago at 12. Seven to shoot. Actually, a long two off the window, no good, and a rebound for Odabumi. Amosa up ahead, Walls down the sideline. Stedman, a good look for three. That is in there. Off the rim about three times and gets it to go. The Wiz get their 11 point lead back. And driving the hole has it taken away, does Tillery. And Walls now has to get into the front court. She does with a second to spare. Runfield driving baseline just out of the key and Runfield scores. Runfield's got her first basket on two shots. Biggest lead at 13 and Wall steals it in the backcourt. Kick it out, Stedman wide open three, it's in there. Biggest lead of the game with 1.10 to go, and UC Riverside will call a timeout. Let's leave it here. It is a 30.
Wow, what a nice run. It's 33 to 17, 12 in a row now for Pepperdine after the Highlanders had drawn to within four at 21-17, just two minutes and 13 seconds ago. Take a look at some of the highlights here. Where are we? Okay, we leave it here. Take a look at some stats. Uh, the Waves are 14 of 29 now, shooting 48%. That Stedman three was the Waves' third of the game in seven tries. UC Riverside still being held to just 20% from the floor, four for 20. And they continue to turn the ball over 15 times, and the Waves are capitalizing. Under a minute. Actually, crossover go to the left side for Marshall. Marshall kick it out. Three pointer Webster. That is short. And Walls comes up with the rebound. UCR numbers on defense. Walls doesn't care. She throws it up, misses badly. Go to Boomy rebound. Kick it out. Stedman for three. It's good. Off the rim and it falls through. The lead goes up to 36 17. An incredible 15 to nothing run here. Going back just more than three minutes. We've got 20 seconds to go in the half. We've got about half a second difference. Game clock, shot clock. Three-pointer in the corner. That's no good by Ashley. Odabumi comes up with it. Boy, the Waves are getting a lot of different uh, production. Lots of production from the bench. Walls underneath, no, with two. Amosa saves it before the buzzer. No, boy, that was straight. Great try all the way around. Runfield had a good look at the buzzer, just missed it. But what a closing job there in the first half by Pepperdine. 15 to nothing in the final three minutes and 21 seconds to go up 36-17 at halftime over UC Riverside. Chris, uh, head coach Kristen Dowling joining us at the break on the WCC Network. Nobody said it was easy. That's why you shoot 1,000 three-pointers, make 300, study all night, then shoot 1,000 more. Get straight A's. Keep practicing. Be a good friend. Push through it. Make the playoffs. Graduate from Lada. University Credit Union is a proud sponsor of the West Coast Conference. From earning interest to getting a loan, our rates beat the competition because we believe your bank should work as hard as you do. What is our way? Our way is unrelenting. Imposing as the mountaintops to our east, strong as the ocean to our west. Our way is forward, challenged by past achievement, expecting future success. Our way is committed, devoted, passionate. Our way fuels us to be different, to be inspired. 
to faith in each other. What is our way? Our way is West. Halftime in our final non-conference game, UC Riverside visiting Pepperdine. And as always, Kristen Dowling, good enough to joining us on the air. And Coach, um, 80 points. Uh, held Cal State Bakersfield at 27% from the floor, had five players in double digits scoring, 48 points in the second half. What out of all that did you like the best? The two things I'm going to point out, I'm going to point out the five people in double figures led by Helena Friends started out coming off the bench having 10 points, which was great. I mean, anytime you can have five players in double figure, that's huge. And then just our defensive effort I thought was really good. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned Helena, the 10 off the bench, but how nice is it uh, to be able to I mean, you don't have a lot of options on the bench, but you do have a few who can come in and score. The other night, for example, uh, Becky gets into foul trouble. You bring in uh, KK Brody, who starts to make plays on defense. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a pretty big thing to get uh, bench production. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, to have players come off the bench and be a threat is huge. Maybe my favorite stat from the Cal State Bakersfield game is uh, 35 free throw attempts. Uh, you know, and I think that's going to be so important going forward in the in the West Coast Conference, right? Uh, just to get teams into early foul trouble in the quarters. Uh, uh, is that a big thing for you? Absolutely. I mean, we want to get to the line, and we shot more free throws than they attempted. So we didn't shoot the percentage we wanted, but we we got to the line a lot, yeah. and that will be very important going forward. Well, this team, you know, uh, quite well by now. Uh, you see. Riverside played them already, uh, won it by nine up in Alaska. 55% uh, shooting in that game, uh, a roller coaster game, right? Had a, uh, a bad quarter, I think it was the second quarter, but then had a monster second half. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think you see Riverside? might adjust and what do you see the second time around in this game that's a great question so they've had two weeks off actually yeah. um, as they've gone through finals so I, I mean they uh, you and I will both be surprised I mean they could they could have put in a whole new offense they could have put in they could have they can you know they've had time to break down the film and they like to ice the ball screen so they could have done something totally different so we'll see mm -hmm. and uh, did this uh, non-conference season really go by as fast for you as it did for me it did <laughs> it did we start West Coast Conference yeah. next weekend. <laughs> yeah. Well, Coach, uh, happy holidays to you, and we'll talk to you again uh, WCC time. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Merry Christmas. Thanks so much. That was Coach Kristen Dowling. Uh, halftime here at Firestone Fieldhouse brought to you by the Wolfpack Investment Group. Second half coming up, UCR and Pepperdine on the WCC Network. You know, I'm trying to change the game. I'm born and raised in L.A. In so many different cultures, everyone has a word for kind of the cool uncle. You know, I'm everybody's uncle, and I'm going to treat you like family at my firm. Insurance companies, defense counsel, all these guys, they don't care about you. They want to get out of having to pay you a dollar. I'm here for the people. You don't want to ever go into a fight where the other side has a lawyer and you don't. All I want to do is be the L.A. lawyer go to, and I'm here for everybody. I wanted to wake up to the sound of the ocean. Sun and surf, that's what we were looking for. But the moment we arrived, we found so much more. We found beauty. We found adventure. We found a place we'll never, ever forget. Family values, reputation, community. These aren't just buzzwords at Rusnak. We've earned our stars. In fact, our customers give us an average rating of 4.8 online. That's one reason people continue to choose Rusnak BMW. And if you're tired of hearing no cars here, we have new cars arriving weekly, including the X5. So if you're ready to start hearing, yeah, we have that. Click or call us. Rusnak, it's that easy. Halftime here at Firestone Fieldhouse. The Waves with the last 15 points of the first half take a 36-17 lead over UC Riverside. Let's go to the Resnick BMW precision play of the game. And there were probably quite a few of them as far as the Waves were concerned. Here is one of them. One of the two steals by Jane Waba and one of her two baskets in the first half. Remember she also had a three-pointer early. That is our BMW Resnick precision play of the game. It happened in the first half. Jane Waba scoring, putting the waves up, helping putting the waves up by 19 at the break on the WCC Network. 
Life is uncertain. Everyday pressures can feel overwhelming. It's okay to feel stressed, anxious, worried, or frustrated. It's normal. With CalHOPE's free and secure mental health resources, it's easy to get the help you and your loved ones need when you need it the most. Call our warm line at 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. Visit calhope.org for mental health support or call 833-317-HOPE. That's 833-317-4673. Pepper Dive 36, UC Riverside 17. We are at halftime. Waves going on a 15 to nothing run in the final three minutes and 21 seconds of that second quarter. Carry a 19 point lead at the break. And let's go to some highlights here in the first half. Now there's a player that got off to a very fast start for UCR, uh, Matea Bryant. She actually scored the first six for the Highlanders, but was limited to just two points in the second quarter. She had a team high eight out of their 17. Of course, for the Waves, Allie Stedman had all 13 of her points in the second quarter. And Jane Waba right there at the steal and two of her five first half points. There's Bryant again for UCR. Here's Marley Walls. And Marley uh, just with two points, but she did it. She dished five assists. That's about her season average and also got it done on the other end with three steals. Her and Stedman both had three steals. The Waves forcing 15 turnovers and capitalizing on that. As you take a look at our team comparison brought to you by the University Com uh, Credit Union, the Waves winning the points off turnovers battle big time, 18 to four in the first half. Take a look at the uh, three pointers. Waves four for nine. Highlanders nothing for seven, did not hit a three first half and limiting, limiting UCR to just 18% from the floor while the Waves are shooting a respectable 45%, 15 of 33. Waves are now winning the glass, uh, 19 to 16 and six less turnovers. So Waves, 36, Highlanders, 17. You take a look at your game high leaders in the first 20 minutes and we'll be back for the next 20 on the WCC Network.
All right, third quarter is upon us with the waves up big, 36 to 17 on that 15 nothing run. In the final 321 of the first half. UC Riverside first possession, second half, away we go, left to right, Marshall, the freshman. Top of the key, it goes to Atchley. Right side back out to Webster. Webster pull up at a 19 footer and drills it. So the Highlanders strike first in the second half. After letting that 15 0 run slip by their wayside and Waves turning a four point lead into a 19 point lead at the break oh, is Allie yeah. Spenman who caught fire in the second quarter. Remember, she did not score at all in the first quarter. She had all 13 of her points in the second frame and scores here. First basket for the Waves, 38 19. Allie continuing her double digit scoring season. Every game she's been out there this year now, all nine of them in double digits, averaging 15 and a half. A foul will be called on the other end, uh, just under a minute into the third quarter. And that'll be on Becky Obima. First on Obima, first foul for either side. Two free throws coming up. Marshall, uh, the Highlanders were lights out at the foul line in the first half, nine for 10. Got there six more times than the Waves did. Tough break there from Marshall, who is sitting with four points. Second foul shot is in there, 38 to 20. The waves are up to 47% from the floor. Shot 55% against this team, season high. A couple weeks ago up in Alaska. And that is a easily stolen ball all by herself, laying it up and in is Matea Bryan as she goes into double digits. She has 10 of UCR's 22. 10 points and six boards. Wall is flashing to the key. She travels with it. Go back to the Highlanders. So this is kind of the area of the ball game in, in a certain sense where you're most eager to pay attention to as a Waves fan because some of these losses, and not just this season, you can put the blame on how the Waves have come out to start the second half. And Pepperdine has kind of turned that tide in recent games, especially the not only the Bakersfield game, but go back to the Portland State game. Highlander score again. Make it 38 24. And the Waves had a miserable third quarter in the Omaha game. Ended up losing that by five. Driving walls, and boy, two blue and gold uniforms standing right in front of Vima. That is an easy steal. Webster caught awkwardly in the air, but saved there by Bryant. Get it back up top to Marshall. Waves have now turned it over three times in the last 140. Bryant driving off the window, no offensive rebound. Blunt, Blunt put it up, miss it badly, and Waba gets the rebound. Front court goes Allie Stedman. Stedman has had the hot hand since the start of the second quarter. Highlanders go back in their 2-3 zone. Obima puts it on the deck twice. Get it to Mar uh, Marley Wells. Marley Wells, defended by Marshall. Popping out, Jane Waba under seven to go. Waba leaning in, no good off the back of the iron. Blunt trying to grab it, fight for it in the corner. Blunt inside position on Waba, lets it go. And she had thought that apparently the waves had hit at last, but they say it'll stay with Pepperdine as Mel Finau is back on the court. Replacing Jordan Webster, who has been limited to one for eight from the floor in just two points. She had 14 the first time around against Pep. Reset the shot clock to 20. Waves had a 19-point lead at half. It is now a 14-point game. That is a bad pass. Too tall for Obima. 
And three on two the other way. Bryant pull up, 15-footer off the mark. Rebound, Teresa Grayson Banafo. And Banafo somehow get into the front court. Wasn't pretty, but managed to do so. And dish it out to Allie Stedman. Crossover. Stedman loses her footing, tripped up, and she will be fouled on that right angle. It'll be the first foul on the Highlanders in the second half. Highlanders foul number 50. Third, Hanna Blunt picks up the foul, and that's her third whistle on the inbound. Go the other way. Anna Blunt will pick up another one. No, they changed it. It's on Obima. So going the other way, it's UC Riverside's basketball when we return. The wave lead is now 14 on the WCC network. Six twenty-seven remaining third quarter. Pepperdine's lead is down to 14, 38 to 24. So far the Waves sitting with just two points in the second half. It'll be UC Riverside basketball full court. That was Becky Obima who just picked up a foul, her second on the Waves. And on the inbound pass, the Highlanders turn it over right out of the timeout. Nicole Powell can't believe it. Like that, what's what we drew up in the timeout. Inbound pass, turnover. Molly Walls will inbound, it goes to Waba. And the Waves have really taken advantage of UC Riverside turnovers in this game. 18 points off the turnover. Top of the key, dribbling to her left, handed off Jane Waba, bullet pass to Obima, that's an offensive foul. Another one on Obima, and now with Obima picking up her third, including two uh, in succession. All right, so they're going to bring in Oda Bumi, who had a very good first half. Oda Bumi had six rebounds in the first half. She'll be on the court. The other day when uh, Obima got into foul trouble, they brought in KK Brody, who I thought really impacted the game on the defensive end. Uh, this time going with Oda Bumi in place of Obima. Right side three pointer that is short, missed by Marshall. And the Waves come up with it. A home run pass underneath, and Banifo misses a chip. He's second effort now. Might get a third try. Gets another rebound offensively up top. Walls. Walls. Go to her left, Jane Waba. Still a 14-point lead, leading in. Another out of control offensive foul. 5.25 to go in the quarter. And the Waves now are not getting much done to our left. Yep, that is a clear call. Established position and then knock down the defender. And now the Waves are out of fouls. This is what you want to do to the opponent talked about this at halftime. The Waves getting Cal State Bakersfield in the early quarter foul trouble. The other way around right now. 5-10 to go still in the third, 
Right side it goes, back up top, Mel Finau reverse it out to the left to Jordan Webster. Webster with four. Webster working against Stedman, has it blocked by Stedman. Into the hands of Imbanifo, Stedman running the fast break for the moment, putting on the break in front of her own bench. Get at the Marley Walls at the point. Hand it off, Stedman. Stedman, another double digit outing, straight away shot, it goes. Got an 18 footer for Allie Stedman, another deuce for the sophomore from Phoenix. Having a huge season. Another double digit outing. Stedman now with 17 off of her 21 point game from Wednesday. She's at seven of her 10 shots. Straight away Finau off the back of the iron, does not go after a few hops. Rebound and Banifo. The lead is 16, crossover, and Banifo left side, change her hands and put it up, no but fouled. Great ball work by the former all Ivy League player out of Cornell, grad transfer Teresa Grayson Banifo. 4-0 to go in the third quarter as we step aside. The wave lead is back up to 16 on the WCC Network. Well, let's take a look at the schedule ahead, brought to you by Resnick BMW. We mentioned this is the final non-conference game of the season for the Waves. So Saturday the 17th at 2 o'clock start at Santa Clara. Same road trip on Monday afternoon, the 19th, a week from tomorrow. Waves will be at the University of San Francisco. And then back here just before New Year's against Gonzaga and Portland. WCC home openers, both day games on December 29th and 31st. Well, thank goodness for defense because the Waves have turned it over seven times in the last 521 and only have four points in the quarter. The only reason they're up like this is because UC Riverside has not been much better offensively. They have scored seven points in the quarter as Mbanifo misses two. Walls had it for the moment. Lost it, however, I believe. Yes, he was pushed. Uh, Stedman was pushed out of bounds. And UC Riverside will pick up their third foul of the quarter as Paris actually returns to the court. Anna Blunt gets called for the foul. She'll have to leave as she picks up uh, her fourth. Go under four minutes. Yeah. Otabumi. Otabumi underneath off the window and gets it the ball. Well, she might be having her best game as a wave. She only has four, but she has impacted this basketball game. She has made some beautiful hustle plays and has grabbed six rebounds. Done some things also that don't really show up on the stat sheet. Left baseline shot, Webster connects. 
Webster, just her fourth point, her second basket, leading scorer this year on UCR, and a team that has had a horrible time offensively on the year. They get 51 a game. They're barely halfway there with 3.14 to go in the third. Waves will, co will uh, call a timeout, and we will leave it here. It is a 30, 42 to 26 waves, 3.14 to go in the third quarter. And while we mentioned the waves have struggled here in the third offensively, the Highlanders not that much better as they have hit one of their last eight only. And they haven't been able to really dig into this deficit that they have uh, mounted really since that 15-0 Pepperdine run to close the half. Hope everyone is having a nice holiday season, very festive atmosphere here at Firestone on a Sunday afternoon. Last home game for a while, actually 18 days before uh, Portland and Gonzaga come to town just before New Year's Day. Helena Friend, ba uh, Helena Friend back in the ball game for Pep. Friend hasn't scored, coming off a 10-point game, also at 12 against this team. Underneath, just before the shot clock winds out, Odabumi chased it down in the corner, but it is taken away by the Highlanders. One and one, actually up with it, no, but she hits the deck. A foul on Marley Walls. A couple of free throws coming up for Paris Ashley. So, the Waves now over the limit. But remember, the Waves did have four fouls with five and change the go. So, Ashley hits the first of two. Take another look. Second foul shot is in there for Paris Ashley. First foul of the game by Walls. And Ashley scores her first two, and they steal the inbounds play. Corner three, Ashley hits nothing. Into the hands of Molly Walls. It goes back the other way. Highlanders with numbers on defense. Walls pulls it back out. In low. And Banifo put it up no. And Odabumi had it for a moment, lost it, and going the other way. 42-28, 2-28, third quarter. The rebounding stat uh, has uh, the Waves taking charge now, plus 12 on the boards. That was not the case in the first half. Just off the mid post, nice shot. Nice mid-range shot by Mel Finau, her first basket of the game. Highlanders still without a three-pointer in the game. Nothing for nine. Driving Stedman underneath it. Stedman's got 19. Came in with a 15 and a half point average to lead the team. Double digits in all nine of her ball games this year. And at least one three in all nine of her ball games too. Highlanders now 0 for 10 from beyond the arc. They retain possession, however, with 14 to shoot. Marshall goes to her right. Right angle, Finau off the back of the iron. No, and up with it is Helena Friend with the rebound. Marley Walls in the front court. Walls crossover. Walls to the hole underneath. No. Almost put back. The ball's loose on the floor. Odamumi takes it away and kicks it right back out. Stedman pull up. Hit. Stedman right inside that mid post. Gets it to go, 46-30. And Stedman has 19. Her season high, 22. In one of the games up in Alaska, three-pointer, no, uh, no good. Bullet pass underneath. And Banifo misses. What a great pass from Stedman from the wing. 46-30. Waves were up by 19 at halftime. They have been outscored 13 to 10 in the third. Stedman picks up her second. And Paris actually again will go to the free throw line. KK Brody, first time today. Eight waves have scored 
all 10 players available today. Hector Monterey in for the Highlanders. KK Brody making her first appearance of the day. Bryant to the bench probably for the rest of the quarter. 35 points, six to play. She'll play most of the quarters. Our leading scorer today. Ashley's free throw is good. 46-31. Ashley misses the second, long rebound to Marley Walls. About a five second difference, game clock, shot clock. See how deep the waves take it here. You got a 15 point lead. Another game in which UC Riverside struggling to score and that is a pass that will be turned over. Highlanders will get it. Boy, the waves. I think they might have double-digit turnovers in this quarter alone. Left corner, three, no good off the front of the rim. Loose ball, out of bounds. It will stay with 2.6 seconds to go. It'll stay with the Highlanders. So plenty of time for them to catch and get a decent shot off here. Baseline right, Webster will inbound, whistle. Very unnecessary foul on KK Brody. And that means UCR free throws. Well, that's about the last thing you needed if you're a Pepperdine fan. Get a break there for the Waves. In and out, missed by El Finau. Forty-six, thirty-two, most likely the score going into the final ten today. Marley Walls catches the inbounds, and nothing else will happen. And ten minutes to play, and that might have very well been the worst quarter for the Waves going back to the Omaha game that started this homestand on the first of the month. But still, a fourteen-point lead, ten to go on the WCC network. Back live here at Firestone Fieldhouse with the Pepperdine Waves leading UC Riverside 46 to 32, looking for the team's first three game winning streak in more than two full calendar years. Started the season 3-0 two years ago. Waves up by 14, only scored 10 points in that quarter. Turned it over quite a few times. And now up to 18 turnovers for the game. Had nine turnovers officially in that third quarter. Waves winning the paint 22 to 12. 20 for 45 shooting for the game, 44%. Highlanders still in the low 20s, 23% for the game. Baseline shot, no, but a foul. And free throws coming up early in the fourth for Teresa Grayson Batifo. Grace and Batifo. Mel Finau picks up for seconds. Banifo. The six points, three rebounds, somewhat of a quiet first three quarters for her today. Coming off her second double double in a wave uniform. Nice move and draw on the early quarter foul. Go up by 15 again here. Looking for one more. Gets it. 16 point lead. 
And as sloppy at times has it been for the Waves in the second half, the Waves have only lost three points since that halftime lead of 19. The thing is, not going to get away with that in the WCC. So something to think about heading up to Santa Clara next weekend. Three-pointer no good, missed by Finau, long rebound. Out to Moderans, who played pretty well for the eight minutes that she was in there in the first half. Driving Ashley has it rejected, and that's uh, by, by Allie Stedman. Not only did she get the rejection, the last touch by UC Riverside. The Waves get it back, another tremendous play by number 24 in orange, blue, and white. Impact player on both ends. And Banifo off the window. Everything right except does not finish. Hits the rim a couple times and does not go. You see her side, the other side, 48 to 32. Ashley's got it. Ashley driving, trying to get around and Banifo. That's not happening. As her shot blocked and out of bounds. And Banifo continues to block the shots today. And uh, be her third. She had three on uh, Wednesday. And another game I think we're seeing here that proves if you're having a hard time scoring, there are other things you could do. And obviously it's defense. The Waves are playing wonderful defense today. Front court, Allie Stedman. Wall sets a pick. Stedman trying to get through the defense. Brody inside the block and the key and throws it in over Blunt. Now Blunt is out there with four fouls, so they're taking advantage of that. And it worked. Brody is in the scoring total. That's the ninth Wave to score today. Blunt underneath, misses short. Follow up, no good, missed by Bryant. Bryant again, follow up, and one. Bryant, their double digit score with 12, and one rebound from a double double, and she'll look to complete a three point play. 50 to 34 with 7.55 to go in the game. Waves looking to get to five and five, take a three game winning streak first time in more than two years up to Santa Clara on Saturday to open up the conference schedule. Waves are picked last in the conference, but we know what this team is capable of. Brody underneath, turns herself loose. Gets the pass from Banifo from the wing and scores. And while the Highlanders still have a couple of non-conference games to go before they dive into Big West play, and they are picked for seventh in their conference. Hawaii's picked to win the Big West. Underneath, Webster misses. And Brody with the rebound. Jane Waba runs it up. Driving, and Banifo got too far underneath. Threw it up and missed it, but is fouled. Runt has fouled out. It went right after her, and I think she picked up a technical. Let's take a look. It was just a little too far in the needs. Didn't have that, uh, that traction to throw it in, but she was fouled, and I think she had some choice words as she left the court, and that's the discussion right now, as you see right there. So she fouls out, picks up the tee, and now the Waves can really start to tack on some points at the line. And then on the ensuing possession. I think your uh, uh, frustrations of uh, UCR sitting with 35 points in the fourth quarter. Banifo misses the first. Just the ninth free throw of the game, and that's no good. The Waves are under 50% at the line in this one. And taking 10 less foul shots, so that is a stat that you do oh, not like in this game, unlike Wednesday. So now here come the technicals. 
taken by Marley Walls. Just the third point for Walls, but she does have five rebounds and six assists. So that is just one out of four at the line for Pep in that sequence. A lot of different stats that really stand out in this game. Highlanders 0 for 12 from distance. Held to 21% so far from the floor overall. Waves have been very opportunistic, taking advantage of Highlander mistakes. Banifo has it pickpocketed, and the Highlanders get a steal. Corner three is in and out. Offensive rebound, follow up, no, but more free throws. This time Bryant will go to the line. As Stedman picks up her third. Stedman is in there with 21 in the game, matching what she did on Wednesday. One shy of her season high. Of course, who can forget the game Stedman had early in her career last year at UCLA, tying a school record from three-point range. Free throw no good by Bryant, who has now recorded a double-double, 13 and 10. Second foul shot good. Bryant averages just seven on the season, has doubled that in this game. But the Waves comfortably had 53-36 walls, and I don't think Obima was ready. A little bit of a hard pass from Walls. And I think Obima was facing the basket when she threw it. Highlander ball. Marshall. Up high to Webster. Webster driving around Obima, throw it up wildly, and will draw two free throws. Been a tough day for Webster, two for 12 from the floor. She'll get an opportunity here at the line with the Waves. Up big, 53-36. They they've lost only two points from their 36-17 halftime lead. Islanders now 16 for 21 at the line today. 17 for 22. 53-38, six and a half to go. Teresa Grayson Banifo in the backcourt. Get it to Jane Waba. Waba's jogged it up quite a few times today for the Waves. Obima, Obima, fake left, turn right, and throw it in over Bryant. Becky Obima, great footwork and the finish. Playing with four fouls, inbound play, a steal for Allie Stedman. She throws it in and one. Wow, what a play. Webster picks up the foul as Stedman gets the steal and her season high 23rd point. Looking to complete the and one. She's got it. 24 points, a season high for Allie Stedman. And a timeout on the floor with 6.10 to go. It is a 30, I believe it'll result in a media. So we will, we're leaving it here, all right? Oh, no, we're not. We're setting it back. Taking a break, up 20, 6.10 to go on the WCC Network.
Well, the waves are up by 20 with 6.10 to go in the game, 58-38. Let's go to our Ticket Smarter Smart Play of the Game. And it is going to be the Ali Stedman block, gets it back from Mbanifo, pulls up from uh, about uh, 18, 19 feet and buries it. That's two of her 24. That is our Ticket Smarter Smart Play of the Game. And what a day to close out the non-conference schedule for that young lady, the sophomore guard out of Phoenix. Four points shy now for a career high from that 28-point game at UCLA last year. Off balance, fade away. No by Finau, but more free throws coming up with 6.04 to go. And the way is up by 20. Take another look, very out of control there. Kind of bailed out as Mel Finau, but she'll go to the free throw line looking for her fourth and fifth points. And not only Stedman with 24, but nine different waves have scored in this one. Next highest and Banifo with eight. And then the first career four point game from Rosemary Odabumi, along with eight rebounds, by the way. So she's having her best game as a wave. Odabumi. Previous high was four rebounds against Concordia this year. She has doubled that. Here's Waba, cut off. Go the other way around Finau. Change her hands and put it up with her left. And score, Jane Waba makes it 60 to 40 here in the fourth quarter. And after all that, the waves are now plus one in the second half. The Islanders were just never able to generate any offense to dig into that halftime deficit. Obina with the rebound there. That's a stat. The waves really turned around the rebound, and we knew they would at some point. Three pointer, no good short. Rebound Bryant. Waves uh, overall now plus eight on the glass today. Losing that category for the entire first half. And there's an offensive foul. Walls caught it on the sideline, turned and then knocked down Marshall. Two on Walls. And now Pep goes over the limit with 4.56 to go. 60-40 wave lead, going to go to 5-5 five and five in the non-conference schedule. Entering WCC play at Santa Clara next Saturday. First three game winning streak it's going to be in more than two full years. Actually go to her right for Marshall. Marshall driving, kick out. Goes the fee now, maybe an NBA three, seven to shoot, does not take it. Driving on Odabumi, off balance, no. Odabumi takes control. Into the front court, Allie Stedman. Season high 24, incredibly efficiently as well. 10 for 14 from the floor with three triples. Walls will reset with 12. Walls goes to her right with seven. Go under four to go in the game with Stedman. She launches a three, does not hit anything as the shot clock expires. It'll go back to UCR. Back on for the Highlanders is Moderans, who has five, three rebounds. The Highlanders were actually looking for their first three game non-conference winning streak since 2016 coming off two straight wins. Of course, they have not played entering this game since Thanksgiving weekend. And it's kind of shown today. They did win their last two. Lost the consolation game to Pepperdine up in Alaska. Great Alaska shootout, then won the next two. First game in 15 days today for them, and they're going to have to regroup as they Get closer to Big West play. KK Brody on, Becky Obima off. Three and a half to go. Highlanders will have eight to shoot. Ball inbounded and stolen by Marley Walls. Walls has it poked away. Walls takes control of her own ball, a whistle. 
and a foul. It's on Bryant. Two on Bryant. Marley Walls to the line, looking for her fourth and fifth point. Walls, nothing for five today from the floor. Got all her points at the line, but again, five rebounds and six assists, and I think she's had nice control of how this basketball game has gone. Dictated the flow nicely, and the waves in this one shooting 47%, and Marley, I think, has been a big reason why distributing the ball nicely. Waves had a 55% shooting game against his team earlier this year, and not far behind that today. Moderon's trying to drive on Brody, kick it out back to Ashley. 62 to 40, the Waves have never led by more than this. One bounce, pull up, high post, and good for Aikens, her first basket. 62-42. Two fifty-two on the clock. Waves will go to Utah after this game. Play the Utes from the Pac-12 next weekend. Oda Bumi up with it, no, and free throws coming up. You talk about a schedule coming up for UC Riverside at Utah and then at Texas Tech before they open up Big West play at Cal State Bakersfield on the 29th. And Helena Friends coming back on, as is Drea Brunfield. Odebumi uh, already with uh, her first four point game in her career and nine rebounds, which leads the team today. She'll take some free throws here. First one good, six foot, third year sophomore forward from Nigeria, went to Sierra Canyon High. And having her best game in a wave uniform. First free throws of the season for Rosemary Odabumi. She makes one of two. And a rebound to Bryant, who's in there with a double-double, 14 points and 12 rebounds. Hatchley. Up top, Moderons lobs it into the key. Off balance and off the window and in for Bryant. She's got 16 to lead her team. That's more than double the next highest Highlander. I came in with averaging 51 a game. They're sitting at 44 with just over two to play. Drea Brunfield go to the baseline. Oda Bumi reverse, lay in. <laughs> oh, wanted to come out. It did not. It fell through. And Oda Bumi puts the waves up 65 to 44. 100 seconds to go. Out to the near side. Driving Marshall, put on the brakes. That's going to be deflected, but into the hands again of Bryant. Four to shoot. Bryant around Brody, throws it in. What a move. Great finish. She's got 18. Stedman, of course, the game high with 24. Season high for her, four shy of her career high. Still in there with 110 to go. Waves will go to 5-5. Five and five. UC Riverside will fall to 2-6. and six. She does turn it over there. And with 104 to go, UCL will get it back. Turnovers today, the Waves now at 23. Maybe a misleading number, maybe, uh, considering how in control the Waves have been for most of the day. UC side 18 turnovers, plus you look at the points off turnovers, 23 to 14 in favor of the Waves, so there's that. Left baseline shot, no good, off the back of the iron, missed by Aikens, loose ball foul. Think on Brody. Nope, got Stedman. So four on Stedman with 44 seconds to go. Want to take this time as Moderans goes to the foul line to wish everybody a happy, healthy, and safe 
holiday season. We're not going to talk to you for a while. 18 days. Moderans in and out and back in again. Of course, on behalf of a great production team, Game On Entertainment. Wishing you a terrific holiday season from mine to yours as the waves are now up 65 to 48, 42 seconds to go in this one. And there's no question, considering the momentum the waves are going to take into conference play, this team is very capable of causing some havoc, we think, in the West Coast Conference. It's going to be another tough conference this year. Clearly got some capable players. Win some games. And a tough start on the road. You'd love to, at the very worst, get a split next weekend. Nice bank shot off the bench. Throwing it in there is Stenberg for UCR. Julia Stenberg, the junior from Stockholm, Sweden. And all the Waves had to do is cross the timeline, and that is it. UC Riverside finishes with their season average of 51. Pepperdine finishes with their season average of 65. So how about that? As the Waves win it by 14, we'll be right back to wrap it up on the WCC Network. Nobody said it was easy. That's why you shoot 1,000 three-pointers, make 300, study all night, then shoot 1,000 more. Get straight A's. Keep practicing. Be a good friend. Push through it. Make the playoffs. Graduate from Lada. University Credit Union is a proud sponsor of the West Coast Conference. From earning interest to getting a loan, our rates beat the competition because we believe your bank should work as hard as you do. The non-conference schedule is complete, and that's how it finishes. Both teams scoring their season average today as the Waves ride that 15-0 run in the final 321 of the first half to win it 65-51. They take away that run, pretty much an even game, but that was a huge part, obviously, of the basketball game. And there is UCR's leading scorer going all the way. Tara Bryant, uh, team high 18, along with 12 rebounds for the double-double, but the Waves had some exceptional players today of their own. There is one of them right there, Rosemary Odobumi. She had her best game in a Wave uniform with seven points and nine rebounds. Allie Stedman, another double-digit game, all nine games this year for her, 24 points, 10 of 15 shooting with three triples. The wave shot 47% today, held the Highlanders to 25%. As you see, the University Credit Union highlights to wrap up the non-conference schedule. And there's your final score for Game On Entertainment. My name is Darren Preston. A terrific holiday season to you. We'll talk to you on the 29th. Waves on the road next weekend to open up the conference at Santa Clara in San Francisco. The final score today, Pepperdine 65, UC Riverside 51. This has been Pepperdine Basketball on the WCC Network. Happy holidays, everybody.